Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Harris and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be reacting to Dave Chappelle, how old is 15 really? Uh, first of all I've seen the whole stand up before so I know exactly what it's about but it is absolutely brilliant, it's absolute masterclass so I had to react to it. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. R. Kelly pissed on his victim. I know, it was rough. But I mean, again, I can't even judge R. Kelly. First of all, we don't know if these allegations are true or not, and even if they are true, if you want to know how I feel about it honestly, if a man cannot pee on his fans, <laughs> I don't want to be in show business anymore. Because, well, that's why I got in the game, baby. I got dreams, too. It's been a while since I watched this. But... It's still funny as fuck. You guys man. are confusing the issue. Why you guys are busy worrying about if R. Kelly even peed on this girl or not? You're not asking yourself the real question that America needs to decide once and for all. And that question is, how old is 15 really? <laughs> no, that's a good question. That's a good question. I'm not saying that a person is as smart as they're going to be at 15. That's not what I'm saying, man. But I am saying... 15 to me is old enough to decide whether or not you want to be pissed on. I mean, that's me. If you can't make a decision like that by the time you're 15, then just give up, motherfucker, because <laughs> life is way harder than that. Way harder. I make tougher decisions all the time. If you don't want to get pissed on, just get the fuck out of the way. It's not even a decision. <laughs> if I stop peeing on the front row, they're not going to have to calculate and think, oh, how do I feel about this? Am I okay with it? They just move. <laughs> You can do oh. that at 15. I, I could have. I've been 15. When I was 15, I was doing stand-up in nightclubs. I smoked reefer from time to time. Friends were selling crack. I was trying to finger-fuck people. I knew what was <laughs> happening around me to some degree. Getting pissed on was the least of my worries at 15. Trust me. But it keeps coming up. It's a lot of confusion around that age. Anytime 15 comes up, people freak out. Like when that girl Elizabeth Smart got kidnapped. Right? Remember in Utah last year, 15-year-old girl Elizabeth Smart was kidnapped, and then they finally found her, and the whole country was relieved. And I was the only one saying, damn, she wasn't that smart after all. <laughs> not because she got kidnapped. That could happen to anybody. Exactly. I'm not knocking her for that. I'm just saying, if you kidnapped me when I was 15, you got to take me further than eight miles away from my house, man. God damn. You <laughs> can't hold me prisoner around shit I recognize. I'll break away. I'll, I'll break away. Fuck off me, nigga. That's my bus stop. I know where I'm at. I'm going home. <laughs> she was missing for six months, eight miles away from my house. That's two exits, man. That's nothing. And while she was missing, during this half a year that this girl is missing, there's a seven-year-old black girl gets kidnapped in Philadelphia. Yeah. Nobody knows her name. They might have talked about it two or three times on the news, but she should have been the top story. Because she chewed through the ropes and had both of these motherfuckers in jail in 45 minutes flat. Seven years old. I'm I looked up that story up. after. Yeah. Looked up both stories after. Two crackheads kidnapped her and took her back to the crack house and tied her up. And then they left her. He said, crackheads, I got to make moves. Crack, smoke, <laughs> chocolate, eat. These motherfuckers made moves. It was out. But as soon as they left, this little girl got the nibbling. She was kidnapped at 4 o'clock and at home watching herself on the news at 5.30. That shit is crazy. Yeah, exactly. That's a, that's a news story. That is a news story. Now, meanwhile, in Utah... 15-year-old Elizabeth Smart's captors left her alone, too. And they didn't even tie her up because they're hillbillies. They just bounced. Don't try to escape, bitch, or we'll kill you. Be right back. <laughs> and leave. And she's 15 sitting in the house by herself. How am I going to get out of this? <laughs> Come on, Elizabeth, think. It's a sad think, story. Elizabeth, how am I going to get out of here? Why don't you just open the fucking door and go outside? Have you thought about that? Exactly. Do you have a quarter? Do you know your phone number? You're 15, bitch. Run. Stop thinking and stop making moves. I know I sound mean. And I know what the people are thinking when I'm saying this. Dave, she is only 15. All right. But that's the discrepancy. Because when you talk about a little girl like Elizabeth Smart, then the country feels like 15 is so young and so innocent. 
On the flip side, here comes 15 again. Now we're talking about a 15-year-old black kid in Florida. This black kid accidentally killed his neighbor when he's practicing wrestling moves that he saw on TV. Now, was he a kid? No. They gave him life. They always try our 15-year-olds as adults. The snicker knew what he was doing. <laughs> it's a goddamn pile driver. If this kid gets on the ropes, there's no stopping him. You'd have to send the rock to arrest him. <laughs> and they gave a 15-year-old boy life. life in jail. If you think that it's okay to give him life in jail, then it should be legal to pee on him. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you got to make up your mind across the board how old 15 it actually is. is. That's all I'm saying. Exactly. So I'm going to tell you right now. If somebody comes in here and puts a gun in my head and says, Chappelle, you got a choice to make. You're either going to jail for a month or we'll let you go, but you got to let R. Kelly pee on you. <laughs> I'm not hesitating. Bring in R. Kelly and tell him to stay away from my ass. <laughs> I'd rather get pissed on on the outside than fucking the butt on the inside, son. Exactly. <laughs> I can't go to jail with some smooth Botox balls and think everything's going to be all right. It's not that kind of place. Take my chance with that piss. Piss will wash off with a 10-minute shower. I'm certain of it. This piss coming right out. <laughs> What can I do? They're going to put me in jail. So, uh, that was Dave Chappelle, How Old Is 15, Really? And, you know, every time uh, I mentioned before, every time I watch Dave Chappelle, no matter how funny the bit is, there's also, there's always a lesson, a uh, true story behind it that actually makes you question because that's what he's doing. He's making you aware of everything with comedy exactly how fucked that thing is he says it's i'm not saying that what r kelly did is right it's not it's not it's fucking no but he's also talking about a 15 years old getting uh, sent to prison for life for wrestling moves that i used to do myself as a kid we used to fucking play wrestling all the time and get hurt quite a few times as well got hurt quite a few times and then the uh elizabeth smart story i've read about it after i watched the stand-up uh few a very uh, more than a few years ago maybe five ten years ago and i read the story about that and i also read the story about the uh, a little black girl uh escaping after being kidnapped and to be honest that's uh that's an awe inspiring thing because when i was seven years old i was a little bitch i'm not gonna lie i don't think i could have survived uh i would have uh done what she did because that requires a lot of courage and uh well it's seven years old can make the decision like that at that age i'm pretty sure a 15 years old is much more smarter than that and can decide to leave especially when they left her uh, outside uh, in the house with no guards or anything or didn't even tie her up you know what i mean but the whole thing absolutely brilliant i love dave Chappelle and i absolutely enjoy everything he does and i'm so much looking forward to his upcoming stuff because i've got uh, i heard rumors that he's got two more specials coming up and i want to react to more from the stand-up closer uh the closer so i'm looking forward to that so keep an eye on it meanwhile if you enjoyed this like subscribe share and leave a comment also follow me on twitter and instagram links are in the description down below and i'll see you guys next time